Hey everybody, it's Kenzie. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see today, I am going to be doing this actually super easy Halloween skeleton whatever look. If you want to see how to do it, then stay tuned. So I'm starting with foundation. I am using two and this is optional, a lighter one in the center of my face and a darker one on the outer. If you wanna just use one, that's fine. And then I blend it in with a beauty blender, but I do that off camera. Because I want this look as matte as possible, I'm going to set all that foundation with a little bit of powder. And then I'm going to fill in my eyebrows a little more dramatic than I normally would. But I'm not going to show you how I do it really. Just kind of slide through it really quick. Now I'm going to prime my eyes using my Tarte Shape Tape. And then set that with Super Mom from my Tarte Lip Palette. Now using Subculture, I'm going to be going in with the shade Roxy and blending that into my crease and following that with the shade New Wave. Now I'm going to be taking the shades All Star and Rowdy and smoking them out underneath New Wave trying to create a gradient effect light to dark um, the light starting with Roxy and the dark ending with black on my lid for this look you could really use any colors that you want or as little color as you want. If you wanted to just put black on your lid and smoke out the whole eye, that's fine. If you wanted to use blues, that's fine. I wanted to use more of a black and red toned color, but you can do whatever you want. This is your look, just roll with it. So now I've taken an eyeshadow brush and just black eyeshadow and I'm patting it on my lid. Um, it's not going to look great at first, but I'm going to end up smoking it out with eyeliner and making it look a lot better. This is the clay eyeliner from my Tarte Double Take Liner and I am going to tight line underneath my eyes on the waterline on the bottom and the top just so there is no exposed area and no fleshy colors. Now using the shade Fudge, I am going to smoke that out in my crease and under my eyes and up between my brows to create a more shadowy, angry effect for this skeleton look. Now I'm going to add some big wings with my liquid side of my double take liner. This is completely optional, but you guys know how I like to add wings to everything and some lashes. So for the nose, I'm going to be using the liquid side as well and just drawing two points and not covering the entire bottom of my nose because it can really easily turn into like you're looking at like a dog nose, but I'm just trying to go off of a skeleton picture I looked up on Google. If that's easier for you to do, then I totally suggest it because it was a lot easier for me. So once I'm done drawing on the nose, I go back in with any black eyeshadow and just kind of set it. It keeps the nose from looking really shiny and kind of keeps it from smudging a lot as well.
Now I'm carving out the cheekbones with black eyeshadow first and then I'm going to be going in with Modern Renaissance in the shade Raw Sienna and just smoking out those cheekbones a little more to look a little hollow in the face. I'm going to be using a mixture of different browns but I can't remember all of them off the top of my head so I'll try to list them below whenever I look them up. For whatever reason, on the left side of my face, I have this patch that I could not get to cover underneath my cheeks when I'm trying to make the cheeks look hollow. I don't know why. I might be the only one that notices it, but it drove me crazy the whole time I was trying to do this. Staying in Modern Renaissance, I use the shade Cypress Lumber just to add some more shadows and kind of contour the skeleton look a little more. So the mouth was definitely the hardest part of this entire look. Trying to draw the teeth was really difficult. Um, I suggest using a liquid liner that is more stiff on the end and skinnier to draw the lines because they are more precise and mine kind of smudged a lot but I was just doing this for fun so I'm not super worried about it but if you are meticulous I definitely suggest using a better liner than I had. So after I'm finished with the lines, I just take the other side of the liner and fill in on the inner parts of my lips just for a little darkness in my mouth. I definitely suggest using a black lipstick instead of the liner. And then I'm going to be taking a brush just to smooth out any extra harsh lines. So that is it. This look is surprisingly really easy and you could do if you're getting ready to go to a last minute party or something. I definitely suggest it. There is some trial and error and it's a little muddier in some places than I would like, but it is definitely really fun and makes me so excited for Halloween. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as well for some more fun looks I'm going to be doing for Halloween and looks that I just do in general. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.